Good afternoon, it's Quant Trade Edge. Today is March 23rd, 2022. It's a Wednesday. I wanted to start with natural gas and do a little bit of the Taylor count here. So after this day where we broke out of this hoagie, we had a strong up day and this little dot here implies that it's a PF3, which just means that the two period rate of change and the LBR oscillator, both the slow line and the fast line are sloping up. This would be the fast line sloping up and the slow line sloping up and the 2P ROC sloping up. And getting two PF3s in a row is, um, you know, doesn't happen all that often. And it's usually, you know, means a, a top is around the corner. You could wait for one more day where the ROC itself flips down. Um, and that's probably what I would do here. Um, but I just wanted to put this in context here. So, you know, we see that we're testing above this. This would be our key pivot, you know, to fail below 519.9. And I wanted to point out a trade that set up this morning on the three minute chart. And early in the morning is when natural gas is more active and you could uh, get away with using something like a three minute chart. And as you can see here at 7 a.m., we had this massive impulse up. We got above these Keltner channels and these are the uh, LBR settings, uh, Linda Bra Radford uh, settings, uh, Brashke settings for um, uh, Keltner channels, which are 250% around the 20 exponential moving average. And if you remember, we got one of these in the Australian dollar uh, a few days ago, probably last week. And here, uh, blow this up so we can see it real big. And let me take away some of these things that we don't really need anymore. And we can just focus on the bars. We had a very clean leg down, leg up. And as you can see, these little, uh, whatever color that is, purplish uh, bars, uh, that tells you if they're up bars or down bars. So these are down, up, down. So we got our ABC pattern and the risk bar was this right here. F a high of 530.4, a low of 528.9 makes it exactly a penny and a half. 4R would be s 6 cents on top of 4 uh, 530.4 got us to exactly the high of day for our 536.4. So that was a nice trade there. Um, then I wanted to look at the Australian dollar. And if you remember from last week, we said that having this pattern on the daily chart, back to a trend line. So this is a daily chart of the Australian dollar. And as you can see, this to here to here, uh, it was a very clean ABC. And I said that we could have a nice big run and that run, you know, might take us to one of these fib extensions. And you know, the first one is up here at 75.35, and the next one is up there at 76.34. And it looks like we're, we're on pace to get there. And this has been a pretty strong move. This has only been one leg, and the size of this one leg was greater than the size of these two legs that came down. That's how we know that the impulsive direction is up. And there was something interesting today. Let's uh, clean this up a little bit, and we can take the, um, markers off there. I can even take this off. It's not needed right now. What I was trying to point out is, you know, this previous high is significant on pullbacks. That was 74.55. And if we look at a 30 minute chart this morning, Nice to see, you know, that high, 30, 74.55. And 
when we broke we broke above it and uh, consolidated in this range about here to here. This low was tapped twice, 74.59.5, 74.59.5, 74.62, and then we're just going vertical out of that rectangle uh, to the upside. And, you know, 59.5, that stopped about four and a half ticks away from that previous very major swing high, which looks clearer on the daily, this level right here. And on a daily chart, you can't appreciate how that level acted so well as support, but on a 30 minute chart, you can see how we got one test down, two tests down, three tests down, higher high, and took off from that. So those were a couple of uh, interesting things there. Um, gold, what's interesting about gold this morning, um, you know, getting into the Keltner channels on a 15 minute, and you know, on a strict bar by bar basis, let me see if I can put my uh, indicator back on it. A, B, C, and then you had two legs up. No, nope, sorry, on the 15 minute was one leg up, and then down. A, B, C. And all the while, we're making a higher low from there to there. And then again, uh, so far, it's been one leg up. So again, to me, this tells me that the corrective two waves uh, is down, and then a bigger one wave is up. Corrective two waves is down, a bigger one wave is up. And that plays into our setup for tomorrow, which uh, is this right here. You know, we did take out this high barely today, but today is not the kind of day, uh, you know, that is not a good setup bar to want to take along behind. Now that we have this green bar, if we pierce this tomorrow, that would then set up our 4X trade, uh, you know, if we get a pullback that meets our criteria. There's not a whole lot else going on uh, in the Euro. We have a, a complete inside bar. It could really go either way. On the British pound, you know, in theory, this is a good, you know, potential sell setup. If we break below, you know, we can see what we have, uh, you know, in terms of the forex trade. Um, but it's also a fairly impulsive move, so you know, it's, it's okay. It's not great. Um, on the indices, everything has an inside day. So again, until we take out. The range of this bar, we don't have a whole lot of information. That's the S&P, that's the NASDAQ, that's the Russell. Oh, there we go. The Russell actually did take out that low. So I would say the Russell has a good 4x potential if we take out this low tomorrow or overnight. Then we can look for a 4x potential sell on the, on the Russell. Uh, so basically gold is probably my favorite setup. Uh, silver does not look like gold there. Copper, you know, it's going up, so we can't, you know, there's not really a buy setup or a sell setup. Same thing with the Australian uh, dollar. And same thing with gas. You know, unless this really closes down below uh, 519.9, below this level here, or turns red today, you know, it, it, you know, before the close, that would set up a good short um, 4x. But otherwise, it's not really great either. So, gold and Russell are going to be our main things that we're looking at overnight and for tomorrow. Um, anyway, I hope uh, just getting back into the swing of things. I'm sorry if I'm a little slow. Uh, leave your questions in the comments and I'll answer them. And please uh, drop a like and subscribe.